You know, I would rather have a root canal than be alone on Valentine's Day. That being said, I have an appointment for a root canal at 6.30, so I gotta hurry this up. <sighs> What's up, guys? My name is 97 here with the Valentine's Day vlog of 2014. Based off of that first sentence, you know it's just a great holiday for me. You get to sit here with your significant other, just have a great time. Let me just get her in the picture, too. Yeah, it's not a good holiday for me. Oh, we'll talk about that more. So, I wrote down a lot of stuff here. I'm probably not going to follow any of it. So, let's just get started with the regular old talk about the holiday. So, Valentine's Day, you get to be with your significant other, your lover, the star-crossed lover that you have been with since whatever, since day one. And this is the most romantic time of the year. Me, I don't really get to celebrate this holiday because I don't have significant other. I did not mean to break that, but... Okay, just gonna put that to the side. Wow, okay, so... That's just... <laughs> I don't know what I did. Um... Yeah, this holiday has not been the best for me most of the time. I don't have a significant other. That's kind of why I never liked this holiday. To the most extent, I'm sorry, I need to fix my shirt. This shirt is red. I tried to deck myself out in the most red that I could, which I don't really wear red. I'm more of an orange, blue, black, and white person. You know how it is. I'm a fashionista. Yes, that sounded so wrong coming from my mouth. Let's keep talking. So, let me throw away that piece right there. So we got a bunch of stuff to talk about, actually. Now, there's a reason I hate this holiday. I've already explained that, so... We're just gonna let that one go. But I think now we should talk about something else. And that's just, as much as I'd love to talk about Valentine's Day, to talk about how your Valentine's Day is. I'm sure you guys have had a lot better times than I have. And if you think you had a worse day than me, please keep it to yourself so I can feel bad about myself and have a higher self-esteem. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on. <laughs> Let us move on to uh, channel update stuff. So, channel update, I'm thinking recently I've hit 19 to 20 subscribers. Someone unsubscribed, I think. But that's okay, because in and of itself, that means I got feedback. That means I have to do something better. Something didn't appeal to the viewers. So, whoever unsubscribed, I actually want to thank, because, you know what, it tells me I didn't do something good. And I'm going to fix that. <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys that are still subscribed, I'm going to say, uh, try to, uh, help me out here. Just see, see what you can give me, guys. Cause I like to get with you on a personal level, and I'm sorry that I'm so distracted by this broken pencil. I just kind of destroyed in this sight of anger. Wow, this is definitely not good. Let me just, uh, throw that away. I missed, whatever. So, let's talk about channel updates. So, recently, because I hit the 20 or 19 subscribers... I'm thinking for the 25 subscriber special, I have one of three options, which you guys are going to tell me what you want me to do. If you don't have any ideas, I'm going to throw out three examples. <clears throat> Excuse me, Burp City. Uh, number one, Draw My Life, perhaps, which how that's going to work is, let me just get it, is going to be on my iPad, where I just like sort of click it, wait, hold on, I click it. And I just sort of slide and slide and slide every time I have, like, another slide of my life. So, like, on this slide, August 6, 1997, that's when I was born. And then I slide to the next slide, this is what happened, and slide, and you get the idea. That's one option. Option numero dos. We have... Ow, I just stabbed myself with a broken pencil. How is that happening? Okay. Option number two is a nice little house tour, like a, let's go to my house and see what there is to be seeing. Yeah, it's a really stupid idea, but no one's done that before, as far as I know. I don't think so. Aside from, like, trick my house or whatever that MTV thing is. Where that, oh, no, it's like uh, the do-it-yourself guy. I don't know. It's some kind of stupid thing where they give you, like, a house tour. This is what happened here and here and here. This is broken, this is broken, but let's fix the house. I want that to happen. I just want to, like, go to my house. Because I know some people have done that for, like, a lot more subscribers. But just so you guys know where I am and know where I live and can find me on like, Google Maps. Because that would be so weird. Tomorrow I'll be looking out my window and there's going to be a serial killer just sitting there. I watched your video. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be that kind of a day. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning. No, I can't wake up. It's Saturday. 
Yeah, I completely lost my mind, guys. Help. <laughs> so, um, the third option, and I don't know if I should do this yet because it's too early, is the setup video. Like, this is my camera, this is how I use it, and this is what I do to upload my videos. I think it's kind of cool. A nice little setup video. Which has been inspired by me. Which is, I've been inspired to do that by, like, four other YouTubers. I'd give them a shout-out, but I don't know if I'd get in trouble, so... I'll probably throw that out there. Actually, I think it's only one major YouTuber that's helped me to, like, start these videos. I'll give a shout-out to that in the description, though. You'll see that. Um, let's move on to the midget triple threat question. Here's another thing. I need feedback. Is the midget triple threat a good idea for a topic question? Like, if I were to say, here's the midget triple threat of the trifecta or something, I need something from you guys. Please. What I like is that the one who's giving me the most feedback, I've actually uh, unsubscribed. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Like, I just need more feedback, guys, in general. Please, like I said, this is kind of like a person-based, like, a viewer-based channel. And I'm trying to do that. That's as much as I can do. But let's move on to the Mitchell Triple Threat question. Do you like this holiday? No, I do not. No, I do not. Not in the slightest do I like this holiday. Unless there's some variable that says like, Hey, I just won the lottery. Then I like this holiday. I do not like this holiday. Let's move on. Do you have a significant other? No, I do not. Thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> Just so you know, these three questions that I'm asking you, I'll come up to the third one in a sec. You guys can answer one of them, two of them, or three of them in the comments section. Otherwise, you can answer zero of them, move on with your lives. But I'm just here to make it, to get myself on a more personal level with you guys. Thank you for asking. And question number three, I threw it over there, crap, um, is what makes this holiday special for you? For me, what makes this holiday special is I can reminisce about people I haven't gotten to know good enough that I could have a valentine, so I'm just going to cry myself to sleep tonight. Uh, God, I'm so, I'm such a sad person. Oh, well, those are the three questions. Do you have a significant other? Do you like this holiday? What makes it special for you? There's not much more I could say about this, so I'm just going to leave you guys with, I hope you guys have a great holiday. If you want to call it a holiday, I, I call it a holiday just because it's kind of a holiday. I'm saying holiday a lot, so you understand it really is a holiday. <clears throat> wow, I said holiday a lot there. Seven times. But that's the end of this episode. Next up, I'm going to have Super Smash Bros. Brawl, or possibly that Wii Sports miniseries that's coming up with my dad and I, with Papa Midget, if you don't know him. Get to know him. Watch those series in the back in the history below. Um, and that's the end of this episode. I'll see you guys next time. And remember to stay short and stay awesome. See you next time, guys.